Going. So it is one o'clock. Welcome to Live Art Mini here from Inside Out Studio in Hamilton, Ohio. I am Stephen Smith, your host, and with me today is Bobby Joe Robinson. Uh, Say hi to anyone special out there, Bobby Joe. Hello. Anyone specific you want to give a shout out to? Uh, Ashley. Ashley. Friend Ashley from the studio. Awesome. So Ashley, if you're out there watching, welcome. For everyone else out there watching. Welcome once again. Give us a like, thumbs up, a shout out, give us a question. If you have anything to ask Bobby Joe throughout this process, feel free, or myself. Uh, we're featuring today some outdoor um, yard ornaments, some things that you can put in your yard and decorate with. Uh, Bobby Joe's done a lot of mosaics in the past. What's your favorite mosaic you've ever done? The butterfly. Some butterflies. You love butterflies. We're actually going to do a butterfly themed piece that Bobby drew, drew out this morning. Uh, she's done some, like I said, mosaic garden stones, but we're going to do a yard ornament made out of clay. The clay's been flying fast and furious this week. We've got a number of orders uh, from Almond Sisters Bakery. Thank you. We're doing a number of ceramic mugs for them. I also want to give a special shout out and thank you to. Uh, Kim, who took over last week while I was out on vacation, and Ashley and Terry. Terry's in the back right there. So they did a great job. I hope you tuned in for that. If you missed that, you can always check us out on our YouTube page where we upload all of the Live Art Mini videos. So let's just catch up on last week. I know that you've seen some new things coming out of the studio. A friend of the studio gave us the idea for sink monsters. So these awesome, cool little creatures the artists have been making. They're one of a kind. Each one has a different face to it. And these can go like right on your countertop. You can put a sponge in there and just like a little decorative holder, add some liveliness, add some decor to your day. Here's another example of that. So these were created last week. They've been fired in the kiln and ready to be glazed next week. Also wanted to show you one of Ashley Pierce. So you gave a shout out to Ashley. I've got one of her garden stones here. This is great for the outdoors. And then we've got a special message coming in for you, Bobby Joe. We got a Kathy Howell out there saying hey. hello. Do you know Kathy? Yeah. All right. So we've got a mosaic garden stone created by Ashley Paris. She was starting to work on her lion flower painting last week, and this was the inspiration for that. A lion flower garden stone, or a sunflower, I believe she called it. So all cool things that you can check out from inside out. And then let's check the messages here. As always, Kim is back behind the booth. She's the producer, so she'll be texting me if anyone has any questions, concerns, or comments out there. And then we've got a Matt Carter that says hello from everyone at Companions. So thank you, Matt, for joining in, and hello back right to you. So let's get to know our artists. So one of the points of Live Art Mini is not just to show you some things that you might be able to do on your own or what we're doing in the studio, but so you can get to know the artists a little bit better. So we're gonna do, first of all, what's your most, what's your favorite thing about Inside Out Studio, Bobby Joe? Um, I make money. You make money? Cool. What do you do with your paychecks you get for when you sell the artwork? Put it in the bank bank put it in the bank and savings that's always a responsible thing to do mm -hmm. we got Devin Raglan out there Devin saying hi today hello Devin hello and then let's start something new we got three things what are three interesting things about Bobby Joe that people might not know we wrote them down earlier if you want to look at your notes tattoo you got a tattoo, so maybe people don't know that you have a tattoo. And what is that tattoo of? A cancer ribbon. Okay, cancer awareness ribbon tattoo. Very cool. Maybe some people don't know this about you that you want to let them know. Graduated from Middletown High School. So Bobby Joe is a MIDI. So is Terry. Terry's a MIDI too. So big shout out to anyone in Middletown today and all you MIDIs. <laughs> I did not wear purple on purpose, but I happened to be. Got so. a message. Got and then a lastly, the third thing, something to know about Bobby Joe is your favorite movie, which is? Ghost. 
It is Ghost. Ghost starring Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. So we're doing clay today. We don't have any throwing wheels. We're going to do slab. So we're not. There's going to be no ghost throwing wheel scenes today. All right. So we are going to jump into making the project, and we've got the named creative cam that we're going to go to. And you can see Bobby Joe's take you from the process of coming up with the idea for her garden ornament to creating it out of clay. And as Bobby Joe's moving over to her workstation, we want to give a big thank you from, I always forget that name up there, there we go. Big thank you to Symmetry Boutique and Gallery out in Fairfield and Sherry Armstead for being our season sponsor for Live Art Mini, as always. And then also want to say hello back to a Joyce Connolly Clark. Thank you for joining in today. And then Bobby Joe, we've got a slab ready for you over at the Creative Cam. So we're just gonna shoot right over there. And you're gonna take everyone from the stages of what you do with when you get your slab of clay to when and how you make your garden ornament. And I guess I should backtrack. I'm going to backtrack just one second, Bob Joe. Because most projects always start with a drawing. So I'm showing everyone what you made this morning. And this is the butterfly that you came out with. Mm -hmm. And what was that? What did you make that with? Yeah. Was that color pencil? Yeah. Color pencil drawing? Okay. So we started with just a color pencil drawing. And then we actually turn that into a garden stone. And then now we're going to turn it into a yard ornament. So what we've done is taken that drawing. I'm going to reach over here. Taken it to the photocopier and blown it up. So this is more appropriate size for something that would go in your yard. And then Bobby Joe's going to show you how to translate that onto clay. And what's your first material you're going to grab there? My smoother. You've got your rubber rib to help smooth out the clay. Oops. Gonna move our water microphone there. So we're just smoothing out that clay to get rid of the canvas texture that's on the surface. And that's from the pad that we use to roll it out in the slab roller. And then we will want to smooth out both sides. We've got Tracy coming in behind you. Tracy, you want to give a little quick hello to everyone out there on Live Art Mini? What? You want to say hi to everyone out there watching today? Wait, thank you. Watch all the things. All right. Very cool. Tracy's off to make something awesome himself. Bobby Joe has just flipped her slab and will smooth out the other side. Bobby Joe, what do you think you're a better expert at? Ceramics or garden stones at this point? Both. Both? That's right. You're always building your skills. That's awesome. So we've got it nice and smooth and flat. A nice blank canvas to work on. And like we said, we took Bobby Joe's drawing from this morning. It was just on regular uh, computer paper. And we blew it up in our photocopier so it's a better size for a yard ornament. And she's just going to seal it right onto the surface of her clay slab. Do we have a message? We have a message. You're on top of it. We've got Dwayne Sparks out there. Hey, Dwayne! Dwayne, give a big hello to Tracy and everyone here at the studio. We got Karen Neal out there, who is our, our number one assistant here at Inside Out Studio. And she said she loves the garden steaks. She actually has five of them. Oh, Lord. You can fill up a whole yard. You don't need real flowers anymore. You just fill up your yard with garden steaks. 
I cut it. You're ready to go? Well, before we cut it, let's go ahead and push your drawing into the clay. So we've got our rubber tip tool for everyone out there. So this is going to be kind of like a drawing utensil with clay. Bobby Joe is just going to push and use the surface right over top of the lines on the photocopy. And that's going to create a slight indentation on the surface of the clay. Ready? Yep. So this is a really cool way. We always want to try to stay as true to what the artist is drawing as we can. So this is a nice way for us to change materials and also change the size by using the photocopies. And you still get the exact look of what Bobby Joe or any of the other artists that came up with in that ceramic piece. It's all buckling. Yeah. It's not a perfect process, but it works pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you don't have to press quite as hard, even if you just get a little bit of pressure on the surface, it can go through. Bobby Joe, you got a fan out there. Rachel Louise, she said she's drinking out of a ceramic mug that you made. Mm. It's very cool. It's very cool to think about how many different pieces of art that we've sold in so many houses throughout all of Butler County. Hanging out in people's yards, sitting on the counter. We've got inside out work, artwork everywhere. I think you've got your rhythm down there, Bobby Joe. My rhythm? Your rhythm, yep. job there getting that traced over James Egan was actually working on something similar this morning he did a, a husky dog a picture of a husky dog as a clay yard ornament so if there's any husky lovers out there you can look forward to that coming out of the studio pretty soon at the dog days here Kathleen Honeycutt was just doing a commission German Shepherd mug earlier as well I'd say I would do maybe just finish off this wing over there. We might have to do a little bit of jumping around just so people can see the whole process. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to get the body, the main body on the inside of the butterfly. you do that body it will jump to the next step of where you use the needle tool to cut out the actual shape of the butterfly there we go that's a good stopping point we can always go back and add more details later but as we want to get this shape of the butterfly we also want to seal the edges to make sure it's stuck on the clay really well and then you'll take your needle tool and just go around the outside edge. I'm going to pass it off to you at that point. And this gives a nice unique shape to your garden stone. So it's not just a square or rectangle. It's actually shaped to the subject matter or the image. We've also been experimenting with some um, three-dimensional garden stakes with some flowers, which we're going to show you later. Some pieces done by Christina Haynes and also showing you how we've been putting some fused glass onto the surface of the ceramics and combining those materials in the kiln. 
And then make sure you're digging in really well to cut all the way through the clay. All right, well, Bobby Joe finishes cutting out her butterfly shape. We're going to jump to a quick commercial break from Symmetry Gallery. And Sherry Armstead is going to share some things that she has for you over there. Hi, it's Sherry from Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Hillborn Pottery. And this is our number one seller, has been since we introduced it in the store about five years ago. And um, this being wedding season, showers, things like that, the, the younger people love this. Um, all of us love it, actually. Uh, we're stocking the three most popular uh, best sellers. And this is a chip and dip. And this is in the gray and white. It's got the little um, dip already attached. It also, this is um, the black and white. And there's white. We do carry the vases in um, teal and white, and the purple, and also solid white. Those are great gifts for um, a mom. They seem to like those when you put a bouquet of flowers in them. Hope you come see us. If you want to shop online, visit us at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery.com. All right, thank you once again, Sherry Armstead. Go check out what she has in store at Symmetry Gallery. And we're back with Bobby Joe. I'm gonna pull the camera up on here. Bobby Joe Robinson, Inside Out Studio. And we're in the middle of making a butterfly garden stake based upon a drawing that she did this morning. And then we are, we've got it kind of carved out with a needle tool. So if you wanna go ahead and take your image off, and we'll show how they, you separate the clay and then add it over top of the mold. And then, probably hard to see on the camera there, but the drawing tool that Bobby Joe used to press over top of the paper has left some indentations that we can see a little bit, little, little bit. And then you're gonna use that drawing tool once again to dig in deeper over top of it. And then we have this excess clay. Right here? Yep, I'm just gonna be right here distracting you. And we would just pull off that excess clay around there to pull that butterfly out of the slab. So we've got a second go around now with the rubber tip drawing tool. This is just to dig in a little bit deeper and really show the drawn lines in the surface of the clay. Do this too. Yep, you can complete as much as you can on the wings there. I'm actually gonna show everyone watching out there a quick preview of what the finished product would look like. I'm gonna flip it back to me here first, grab some examples. So you just keep doing your thing there, Bobby Joe. So Bobby Joe is carving into the surface there. Here's some finished garden stakes. These are both done by Christina Haynes. And what's cool about this is they have glass embedded into the center and glass embedded into the surface of the ceramics. So this is a fired and glazed piece of ceramic that has a copper rod attached to the back and goes right into the ground. And it's secured on the back with some epoxy as well as like a little clay pocket that the, the rod slides into. Here's a much bigger piece that Christina did. Nice turquoise on white. Kind of an imaginative flower that she came up with out of her head. And I've got some detailed shots to show you as well because this glass is awesome and just seeing it on camera doesn't really do it justice. So here is a close-up picture. And as you can see, Christina used little chips of glass inside recessed areas that were carved into the clay and that creates a well and it just kind of sits there and fuses together in the kiln. 
So traditionally, these two materials, the fused glass as well as the clay, aren't meant to really fuse together and stick together. But since we created those recessed wells, it creates a pocket to keep them in place. Because the fused glass traditionally is supposed to fire up to approximately 1500 degrees. The clay goes up over 2000 degrees. So they've got different temperature settings. And you can see really, really up close there. It has a nice crackle effect. And that's what we, I would consider a happy accident. Tracy's wearing his Bob Ross t-shirt today. So we've got a happy accident that happens in the kiln with that. Because as those two materials are cooling, the glass itself doesn't set right and creates this crackle effect. But it still looks great. Here's a close up of Christina's other piece. So she used what's called glass fritz, which is basically ground down pieces and little tiny, tiny bits of glass that can be used almost like glitter and sprinkled onto the surface. It creates a really, really cool texture. So Bobby Joe planned on doing the same for her piece. And I'll take you back to her original drawing. So as she gets finished drawing the lines onto the, the clay slab, she would actually scoop out some areas to create some wells. That way when she puts the chipped glass in there, it creates a nice little river of glass and also that awesome effect. So let's take it back to Bobby Joe, who's still drawing away. Any new updates for us, Bobby Joe? It's crazy here. It's crazy here. It's crazy fun here. Looking good. That's very good. I'm gonna say maybe if we're cutting corners just for time's sake, we could do some stripes in the middle of the body. At this point, we're going off the cuff. We're not sticking to the initial photocopy exactly, but it's still going to have the look. It's oddly quiet here for a Friday at the studio. Well, we don't have. Oh. <laughs> All right, so next step, we can go ahead and pull off the excess clay around the butterfly. All right, so this will just get balled up. We'll put it into our reclaim to make some fresh. We forgot to do one thing, and that's uh, sign your name and then do the Inside Out Studio stamp on the back. So we're just gonna flip it over real quick. I don't. Let me help you out? Yeah. Be good. Okay. Quick, it's like pulling a band-aid off. And then if we don't forget, we always like to have our artists hand sign their names on the back of the artwork. It's a little bit more personal and also you know exactly who made the piece for you. And then we have a handy dandy little inside out studio logo stamp. Very good. All right, I'm just flip it back over here. So we've got it transferred, we've got it drawn. You can see that image nice and clear. Our next step is to create those wells where the glass can sit and stay in place as we fire it. So our next tool is called a ribbon tool because there is a little ribbon of wire at each end in different shapes. And you can dig the surface in, let's say maybe this one and scoop out a strip of clay. And you can pick the lines wherever you like. I'm just gonna do this first one, Bobby Joe. Just so you get the idea of how deep to go with it. And you see that you do straight down into the clay and pull it back with the tool handle straight up. That way the clay can go through the middle. And you also, we've got an extra thick slab, but you don't want to go too deep because it might poke through the backside. 
And wherever you think you might want to put some glass in there, that's where you want to scoop it out. And we're working with a white clay. We know it looks gray when it's fresh and before it's fired. But when the clay itself just gets bisque fire, it's gonna to turn to a bright white, which is a nice backdrop for the colorful glass. So what we've done, like the Christina piece that you saw, it has the turquoise on the white. That was just clear coated with regular glaze. And then she put chips of turquoise in the center. Always helps to see what I'm talking about. So there we go. So we've got just plain white clay with a clear coat of glaze for Christina and turquoise chips. Whereas her other piece here had a terracotta glaze and then some white fritz and deep red glass right in the center there. And Bobby Joe, once you get to the glazing and glass process for yours, you can kind of stick to the original drawing or you can change the colors up as you go. That's good. Maybe a little bit deeper on the top part of it. Yep, that's good too. And you could even scoop out this whole section. If you want to use a lot of glass chips, you could scoop out the whole middle sections of the wings and leave a lot of room for it. So I got one more step to show before we leave today. We just got a few more minutes to 1.30. As always, we want you to check out our online store, which Kim is updating continuously. We've got lots of new stuff coming out each week. Some's holiday themed. We've got fall coming up. And then we can also do commissions. So if you're planning for the holidays and want something special for your home, we can make that happen for you. Bobby Joe, you're always eager for some commissions. Make that money, get in the bank. That looks good. Yeah. And then you could take the other end that has a curve to it yeah. to kind of smooth out that area. Oh. So just like the original drawing had one section there, you could scoop, scoop, scoop until that's flat in there so it stays one big section. And then after you get that area kind of smoothed out, we'll show them the last step for shaping the butterfly itself. That smooth enough? I think so. And get rid of any little chunks and bits. So one thing about if it stays a little chunky like that, that can turn sharp after it hardens in the kiln after the bisque firing. Hey, 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 all right, next steps. We're gonna pull out this guy here. Mm -hmm. What is this? Wow, tell our viewers. A mold. It's a mold. It's not moldy, it is a mold. So this is a plaster mold and it's a slump mold. So we can put objects like slabs, uh, clay, and put it over top of it and it makes it into a, a nice rounded shape. So we've got different types of slump molds, different sizes. So this is really complementary to the size of your butterfly. So that's why we picked that one out. And then if you'd like to, we're just gonna lay it right on top. So if you wanna pick up your butterfly, I'll slide this underneath you. Bada bing. There we go, and we'll just give it a pat pat. So. Bobby Joe is shaping it around that plaster mold and that's going to give her butterfly a nice rounded shape. So this just, once again, adds a slight little extra detail instead of just being a flat garden stone. It's going to have a little curvature to it, makes it a little bit more three-dimensional, a little bit more dynamic. Very cool. All right. Any parting words for our viewers out there today, Bobby Joe? I'm gonna pull the camera up here. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck on the weekend. Have a great weekend. 
We're going to do a quick pan of the studio. I'll try not to give you motion sickness and try to go as slow as I can. We've got a good goodbye and a happy Friday from Tracy Miracle. Yeah. Want to say goodbye out there, Tracy? Bye. And then Stevie Gall's in the house today Bye. working on some pumpkins. Terry is running away from the camera. Bye. Terry, you want to send us off? Bye. <laughs> I think she means have a great weekend. <laughs> All right, everyone. This is Stephen Smith signing off behind me. Hey, Tiffany, give a big wave. We've got Tiffany, James Egan, and Kathleen Honeycutt in the studio. We hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Check out that YouTube channel. You can see all the live art minis and check out the online store. See you next week. Nope. Next week, we're not going to have it. So we're actually going to skip a week. Our next live art mini is going to be September 8th. It's going to be on a Tuesday. We're going to feature Mallory Miller, and she's going to be doing some leaf theme ceramic pieces as well. So that is all. I'm out here. Bye-bye.